looks deceiving, doesn't it? Like it is going to warm up here. It's cold. It's very cold this morning. It's going to take a while to get up to the upper 60s and lower 70s out there today. But we'll get there. It'll be sunny. It'll be nice and very clear. But this morning, we're down to the 40s or some 30s out there, even 20s in some of our high desert communities. So it's just really a, just a frigid start. Beach communities, you're back to 66, though. Mountains, about 44 in the high desert. You're going to make it up to about 61 degrees today. I hope you're having a great Monday. Get the coffee going. We're going to talk more about the rest of this week. We have a Santa Ana to talk about, too, so we'll let you know how that might impact you. All right, Brianna Ruffalo is in. Take a look at traffic. How's the morning commute going? I see some red. Yeah. Oh, I see some dark red. Yeah, yeah, it's not going so well. I will say that. We have a couple bad accidents out there. I'm going to take you to some of the worst ones, and this one is actually the newest. It's out into the Boyle Heights area, and it is causing a mess here on the 5 southbound. Pretty much from Boyle Heights, it's backed up all the way to Lincoln Heights, and you're just going to be inching along all the way down that section of the 5 south. So we have the number three lane that's blocked at Whittier Boulevard. The 110. South LA, we have the left five lanes blocked at the 105 connector. If you have to get down to that 105, you have to head over to LAX to catch a flight. Do not take the 110 southbound. We have many lanes that are blocked off there. Uh, it's a morning you might want to consider taking Western, take the 405, and do what you can to try and avoid this. We don't know when they're going to reopen those lanes there. All right, guys, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, good advice, Bree. Thank you. We're following breaking news. Police are looking for the suspect in a deadly shooting at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. This happened late last night on campus. Three people were killed. Two others were hurt. Police say 22 year old Christopher Darnell Jones is the suspected shooter. He is a student at the university. A shelter in place was issued overnight and all classes have been canceled today. Well, a tragic development in the search for a missing mother of two from Simi Valley. She's now confirmed dead, and her ex-husband has been arrested in connection with her homicide. Rachel Castillo's remains were found yesterday in a remote location in the Antelope Valley. The 25-year-old was reported missing last week after her sister found a bloody scene at the home they shared. Castillo's ex-husband, Zarbab Ali from Hawthorne, was arrested yesterday at his parents' home in Victorville. Thousands of UC workers are planning to go on strike at a little over an hour from now. And this morning, Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay is live at UCLA with details. Sophie. Leslie, better wages and better working conditions. That's what UC employees are demanding and why there's a strike scheduled for this morning. And it might look noticeable on campus. It involves about 48,000 union workers.